Hey, welcome to this quick tip video on getting piano chords into your lead sheet. In previous videos, we looked at how you can create a melody, add lyrics, add chords, and add a title to a lead sheet, which is good enough to give to a band. But you might want to take that a step further and add some piano chords. So I've got my piano chords recorded on the second track here, and I've quantized them and I've made sure they sound correct. Now I'm going up to the score editor window, and again, it looks all over the place, but we can very quickly change that by clicking on an appropriate setting here. And that is great. The only problem is a piano should have a treble clef and a bass clef. So now I'm going to this drop down menu and I'm choosing piano split. Now I want to get rid of all my pedal markings. So I'm going to hold down shift and just click here or double click here and that will highlight them all. And now I can simply hide them away from view so no one sees them. Next up, I'm going to click on this bar right here to open the score settings. And you can see a number of tabs along the top. I'm going to staff and I'm going to jump down over to polyphonic. Now in the polyphonic mode, we can see that the staff is split and now we can choose the split point. And this is where Cubase will force any notes below that down into the bass clef and any notes above my specified split point up into the treble clef. And that's perfect, except I've still got some note lengths that aren't right. So I'm highlighting everything, holding down command, right mouse clicking, functions, legato, and there you go. That's perfect. I guess if I'm going to be fussy, I don't like seeing piano written on every line, so I can just go up and highlight that and right mouse click and hide. So you can show and hide whatever you want to see or you don't want the performer to be seeing. And I guess the more you hide, the less cluttered your score is. Again, you can add a key signature by clicking on the actual key and then using the mouse to enter it. And you can do the same with clefs and of course a time signature. Now that we've actually got the notes in here, I want to add some chords. And I have shown you how to do this in previous videos, but just to reinforce it, let's go and do it again. Go back to the project window, select the event, go to project, go down to chord track and create chord symbols. That's created them in the project window. Command R to open your scores again, go up to the score menu, advance layout, show chord track. And there's your chords. Let's just forget about the chord track for a minute and go back and highlight the melody and the piano chords and hit Command R to open the score. And you can see both of them now on the same page. Now, the only problem is it's quite congested in certain areas, especially areas where there's a lot of lyrics. And basically, we need to fix this because that's too clunky to read. Now, there's a nice little feature inside the score menu which is called the auto layout feature and when you select that auto layout feature and just hit ok you'll notice that it's now spread that bar out and it's a lot more even but now it kind of looks a little bit uneven for me from a balance point of view because the bars aren't in the same place and it just looks clunky so there's another way to do this go down to advanced layout and number of bars and I can change this to three bars. So that looks a lot better, except it had one bar on the third line there. So now I've selected all staves and that looks really neat. So in a matter of minutes, we've gone from having a recorded MIDI part to having a full lead sheet with chords, lyrics, melody, piano, chords, and notes that we can take to a rehearsal and we can give to a band to start playing immediately. Or you can hand in for a school or a university assignment. Thanks for taking the time to stop by and check this video out. Please subscribe to the Cubase YouTube channel for plenty more videos just like this and give us the thumbs up if you've learned something. I'll catch you soon. Thank you.